Mrs. Puff's Boating School, birthplace of all newly licensed drivers. Here we find a certain undersea sponge going through his boating exam once again. Bow, stern, starboard, port, skipper, deck, cabin, galley, keel, 1924. This isn't a race, you know, SpongeBob. You've got plenty of time to- Done! Ah! My goodness, you're fast! <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Bow, stern, starboard, port, skipper, deck, cabin, Kelly, keel, 1924. What a surprise! You've passed the oral exam once again. Yippee! Now comes the hard part of the exam. <sighs> oh, the driving exam. Are you ready for this, SpongeBob? I'm ready! Alright, let's start the boat up, shall we? So far, so good! Alright, next you do is... Floor it? Yes! What? No, no! Don't floor it! Ah! Watch the speed limit, SpongeBob! Watch the speed limit! Gotta pass the test, gotta pass the test, gotta pass the test, gotta pass the test! Watch out for the cone! Watch out for the wall! Oh, here comes the anchor! Watch out for the anchor! Ah! <laughs> oh, SpongeBob! Why? Oh, Gary! Why? I just don't know why. I've never been able to pass my boating exam. I've been doing it for over 20 years, and yet I end up failing it every single time. Meow. Have I been feeling anxious lately? Hmm. Bow, stern, starboard, port, skipper, deck, cabin, galley, keel, 1924. <laughs> Gotta pass the test, gotta pass the test, gotta pass the test, gotta pass the test! Ah! Holy shrimp! You're right, Gary. I have been feeling anxious. I must have been so caught up with trying to get my driver's license that I couldn't pay attention to anything else. What am I going to do about it? Meow. Try to calm down? That's a great idea, Gary. And I know just the guy to ask for help. Oh, Patrick! Hey, buddy. What's up? Patrick, I recently failed at another boating exam, and I was hoping if I could... Say no more, buddy. I'll tell you the answers with this walkie-talkie and another one in your head, and you'll be able to... Patrick, we've already tried that before. We did? When? Years ago. I realized that it was cheating right before I crossed the finish line. And then I ended up in a boat crash and failed. Oh, yeah. Besides, I need your help to stay calm when I do the exam. Oh, sorry, I can't. Why not? Because that stuff is totally beneath me, and I've got much more important things to attend to. If you'll excuse me. 
<laughs> that guy got hit in the head with three coconuts. <laughs> well, that's just great. Hey, I know someone else who can help. Oh, Squidward. This is a recorded message saying I'm not home. Oh, tartar sauce. Now what am I going to do? Why don't you go ask Sandy? Great idea, Squidward. I'll have to thank you when you get home. Wow, I can't believe that actually worked. And all it took was an empty canned bread can. What a moron. <laughs> I always enjoy our visit, SpongeBob. And I'm always happy to help y'all. But what y'all need my help for? I've been feeling anxious lately, Sandy. It's probably because I've been so caught up with wanting to pass my boating exam. So that's why I came here, to ask you for your help. It's a big problem for me. Hmm. It's a problem, all right. Your eyes are all red, you're sweating more than a pork roast in a crock pot, and my device is picking up extremely high heart ratings. It appears that you're overloaded with stress and anxiety. What am I going to do, Sandy? How am I going to pass my boating exam without getting worked up about it? Don't you worry about that, SpongeBob. What y'all need is to do a mindfulness. Um, what's a mindfulness? It's something that people take when they are feeling too stressed and need to be relieved of it. Hey, that sounds perfect. But how do I do it, though? Well, come along and I'll show you. Okay, thanks, Sandy. Now listen here, SpongeBob. To do the mindfulness, you must first close your eyes. Okay. Good. Now take a slow, deep breath in. And then exhale it out nice and slow. Now, take a deeper breath in. And slowly exhale it out. And finally, the deepest breath yet. In. And then out. Now, just slowly bring your awareness back and gently open your eyes. Wow, Sandy. I feel much better. Good deal, partner. Just remember to do this whenever you feel stressed or anxious. But don't overdo it, or you'll be out like a grizzly bear in hibernation. Don't know what you mean, but I'll try and keep that in mind, Sandy. Sounds good enough to me. All right, today is the day I'm going to pass my boating exam. I doubt that. Anyways, you've got plenty of time to fill out the written exam. Oh, I'll be done with this test way before that, Mrs. Puff. Oh, why me? All right, here we go. Bow, stern, starboard port, skipper, deck cab. Wait a minute. I'm getting a stressy feeling like before. I gotta remember what Sandy said. Just remember to do a mindfulness whenever you feel stress or anxious. I should do a mindfulness. First close your eyes and take a slow, deep breath in. And then slowly exhale it out. Um, what do you think you're doing, SpongeBob? A mindfulness to ease myself of all my stress. You could join me if you'd like. Oh, I definitely could use one, all right. Especially after all the stress I've been feeling for the past 20 years.
Okay, that'll be good enough for now, SpongeBob. Now it's back onto this. Okay, let's see. Bow, stern, starboard, port, skipper, deck, cabin, galley, keel, 1924. Oh, I feel so much better. I'm all done, Mrs. Puff. Okay, good. Now let's see how well you did, SpongeBob. Bow, stern, starboard, port, skipper, deck, cabin, Kelly, keel, 1924. Wow, you passed and did better than before. So, now we move on to the driving exam. Are you ready for this, SpongeBob? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to drive. Okay, as usual, start the boat. Okay, all right, the next thing to do is... Floor it. No! You floor it, or I mean and move it gently! <laughs> not again, not again, not again, not again! I'm gonna pass the test, 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 I'm gonna... Wait a minute! I'm getting another stressy feeling! I better do another mindfulness. But on the road, that's pretty dangerous. Oh well, it's Sandy's advice, and she's a good friend. A mindfulness during the driving exam is dangerous, SpongeBob. Oh, but what the heck? Okay, now time to continue the test. Pass the cone. Pass the wall. And pass by the anchor. There it is, the finish line. Just pass through there and I get my driver's license. <sighs> wow, taking all those mindfulnesses made me sleepy. But it's a pretty risky move to sleep while driving. <sighs> uh, how do you feel, Mrs. Puff? <sighs> uh, I guess it's no big deal. After all, it's just a straight line towards the finish line. Ew. Ew. Hey, SpongeBob, what did you do? I don't know, Mrs. Puff. I guess I was just trying to stay calm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Puff. I didn't really mean it. I was just trying to stay calm. Oh, don't worry, SpongeBob. I know you were. But next time when you do a mindfulness, leave me out of it! Alright, Puff, let's go. <sighs> Hi, SpongeBob. Hi, Sandy. I saw what happened in your driving exam. Oh, yeah, I think I fell asleep during the exam. Yep, I warned you not to overdo the mindfulness, because overdoing it can cause you to become drowsy and then fall asleep. <sighs> I guess it proves I can't do a mindfulness and the exam at the same time. Well, yeah, but when you do either one, you just need to focus. Well, how do I do that? Don't y'all get your twists and turns all tangled up, SpongeBob. I have the perfect solution for that. Really? What is it? Just follow back to my house and I'll show y'all. Sure thing, Sandy. And after meeting, Chucky sets off on his adventures with his new pet worm, Lana. Wow, Sandy, this really is a good book. I told you, little square dude, Chucky Squirrels and Little Worm Lana is one of my favorite books. I can understand why, and I'm focusing on it really well. Good! 
good, but that's only chapter one, and next comes chapter two. Right, okay. The two came up to the harbor where...